What's going on, true believers? It's your man, Keanu Bleeds. Guys, if you know Zipto about crypto and you want to get Hipto, then I'm the guy who's going to take you there. I'm not going to give you financial advice. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. I'm going to tell you what I do. I'm going to hope that you follow along. So like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Click the bell to be notified of new content. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Okay, guys, Keanu is trading at 1040 this morning. That's down 1% from yesterday. And I know what some of you are thinking, like, what's going on with the market? What's happening with it? Well, we're not in meme coin season. It doesn't matter how many times somebody asks you, hey, how come Bitcoin going up, but we're not going up? It's because it's not meme coin season. And I can't fix that. can't do anything about that. The best I can do is say that if you have a millionaire friend or 10, uh, you can make us a billion dollar market cap. And at that point, maybe we can get on Coinbase or we can get on that radar in the top 100 coins. And then we would be part of that alt network and maybe we would get sent a little bit sooner. But we're not there yet. So as you can see, 24 hours ago, it's right about the same. You don't like to see the path trending downward. But this is the shakeout that's going to happen before everything gets sent. And the reason for that is because we are in... Uh, I know, and people have been asking me this, what phase are we in? Do you think we're in phase three now because altcoin went up? No. As a matter of fact, uh, if I'm being completely honest with everybody, we're in phase one still because Bitcoin has yet to get sent. But let's move on and let's look at CoinGecko. So on CoinGecko, you can see that Bitcoin is hovering around $44,466. It's down 1.5% from yesterday. It's only up 11% in the seven-day window, which means we're not even close to where we want to or should be. If you go and you look at the seven-day chart, and we're talking about a bull chart, and we are talking about people who are now asking the questions, uh, are we in phase four? Does hell go with no? Uh, Bitcoin's down today. Ethereum's down today. Shiba's down today. But look at, look at Shiba. Shiba's up 25.1% over a short period of time, seven days. So it's not a bad move, but we're down 23%. Uh, Saitama is down 40%. Floki is dead even with a uh, week ago. Uh, Sanchu, 13.4. Hokkaido, 4.5. Kishu, 2.5. So I guess what we really have is a case of you know, maybe they have these guys that are not doing that, maybe their investors are just a little bit more loyal on the fringes, not all of us, not the people who are watching, not those of us who are here every day who are fighting the fight, uh, but the people on the fringes, you know, their fringe a little bit more solid maybe than our fringe because they've been around just a little bit longer and they've been through some stuff. Floki, Floki keeps doing those Floki things, so I'm not really sure what to say about it other than uh, the market cap is 1.917. That is down, by the way, 80 billion from the high yesterday. So there's some shed, uh, there's some correction, but there's 155 uh, 24 hour volume, which in the long term would give us somewhere in the neighborhood of close to a $3 trillion market cap. So trust me when I say things are getting sent, but also trust me when I say that it's not happening right now. Now let's move on. Since we're on the subject, of what's going on with these other coins. But let's take a quick peek in here because our 24 hour, we're down 1%. Saitama is number one and they're at 105.2 and they are down 4.4%. Then you have Floki is number two and you can look at the chart and you can tell they are down 8.98. .8. Then you have ePro. EPRO has not been around in a while, and suddenly they are on the chart. Let's see what's happening with EPRO. 0 0.005, and they are down 61%, folks. EPRO is dog shit today. I hope you didn't have a bag in there. But as far as the other ones, they're moving, they're trending, they're doing their things. Uh, so the market's going to be tough. You're going to have those moments. Here's the millionaire uh, token. 
which was trading at $70 a couple days ago. Uh, it is now down to $20. It's down another 10% for the day. You millionaires aren't millionaires anymore if you're still in this one. But let's move on. Guys, I, uh, I made an article. Can Keanu Inu catch you in the matrix? If you'll notice two days ago, I was talking about a problem that I was having in that we don't have positive uh, news. We seem to get associated with scams or ripoffs. One of our investors, Ben Grist, Titanus, uh, Titan Maximus, his uh, interview in Forbes magazine uh, showed that he was, not that we were a scam, by the way, but that he was constantly rug pulled. And the, and the point to it all was what a dangerous market this is. And of course, it's a dangerous market, but that's not the type of exposure that we want to have. So I wrote an article. Uh, apparently, I didn't know this, but uh, comment clap is the thing that you do on Medium. The more claps you get, uh, the more people will be notified that there's an article. I tagged it, cryptocurrency, crypto, Keanu Reeves, Bitcoin, and Ethereum to try to keep it simple and hope for maybe this will get picked up. Maybe it'll hit a, go a Google algorithm. Maybe it'll be something positive because I'm just doing my part. And boy, was it annoying. I am not a writer. If you like this, then you have a low standard of writing. If you don't like it, you're right. But let's move on. So guys. I'm still searching on Google for Keanu Inu, and let's go over what it is that I see when we're doing the, the searches. Uh, first one that comes up is Keanu Inu Finance. Then we have Coin Gecko. Then we have Coin Market Cap. Then we have our Twitter account. Then we have the Coinbase that's tracking us. Uh, then we have Live Coin Watch. Then we have our Ether Scan. Uh, here's the Zerion uh, Morio. Mor Mori I don't even know what that is, but it's there. Uh, Coin cost, World Coin Index. Here's our Reddit, Blockfolio, Stock Twits, uh, and I don't even know uh, Keanu Inu Crypto Home on Facebook. And then I got to this one. It says, "Is this coin a scam? Is Keanu Inu a scam, or is Keanu Inu legit?" Well, let's click on the link and let's find out. And our score is poor. The highest score that we got was a five for our community. We got zero for development, and I'm not sure what the rating is for development. I assume that the rating has to be somewhere in the neighborhood of use case, because it doesn't seem like what these are, or what this site is, is something to do with meme coins. I think this is just a side thing, so I don't know that our rating is going to get great. Sentiment is 2.7. Awareness is zero, and that means basically what it's telling us is that nobody knows we even exist, and that right there is what I keep talking about and what I've been talking about for a few days. If you want to get sent and you want to be the guy with the Keanu and have all of this positive energy, then we have to do something about it. This is our community token. We need to take charge, and we need to make sure that the name gets out. And I said to you last week that Twitter. All we're doing is tightening spiral of telling each other how great our product is. That's not getting new people in. It helps because there will be people that are going to come in. But the market for people like us, it already exists. It's in Shiba. It's in Kishu. It's in Saitama. It's in all of the other coins that are out there that are in our market. It's already there. The Doge people... Those are the people that we should be targeting. Hey, this is the next 1,000x opportunity. Hey, this is the next one if you missed out on it. Now, it's nice that we make a video about it. The, the video, uh, which I believe we've done five or six of, videos are awesome. They're, they're really nice, but they have to get sent to people who are looking for it. And if they don't, it doesn't matter what we do. We have to find a way to get sent, and that means we have to create and raise more awareness. Now, credibility is a one. It's a meme token. I don't think anybody should be offended by that because they don't know anything about us, and again, there's no awareness, so we don't have a, a high ranking. But if you go over here to volume, 2.7, so they're eh about the volume. That was uh, half a million dollars in our 24-hour volume. 
A lot of it, by the way, is L Bank because L Bank is still rocking. Uh, the numbers are not going up. The trading is going up and down. But if we look over here, profile status, how complete is this profile? Lots of missing data points. This profile is still waiting for the following data points. Project team, GitHub, Facebook, Bitcoin Talk thread, which I started a Bitcoin Talk thread today, and I'm going to take you to it as soon as we get to the end of this. Trading view profile. We don't have a trading view profile. I don't know why we don't have a trading view profile. I know that it exists. Uh, in fairness, guys, uh, I don't watch it. I use Bitru or somebody like that because I like the way that it looks, and I don't think it's any different than trading view. I don't think that it added a whole lot of value over what I already have. But if it's important here, then it's important for us because people will find us on trading view. So uh, maybe we'll need, we'll need to work on that. And exchanges, uh, we need to work on more exchanges, which guys, that's going to come over time. There's nothing that I can do to fix the exchanges at this moment. Uh, once the Once everything that we're working on goes through, then that'll be a memory of the past. Now, in our hero of the day category, Jason Wright stepped in right away and said, no, Keanu is not a scam. They were fair launch, locked contract, renounced ownership, etc. All tokens were purchased in the open market, including the dev tokens. This site is a joke. Where do you pull their info from? Well, it's probably not the way that we should have ended it, but hey, I'll take it. So anyway, let's move on. So here's what I did. I went into the Bitcoin Talk forums, uh, into the altcoin discussions. And I put, I've got a crypto called Keanu Inu. It's one of the dog tokens and the use case is basically charity and some upcoming purchase opportunities on some shopping websites. I don't want to BS Bitcoin people because I don't want to hear their bullshit. And if you know anything about Bitcoin investors, you understand. But I do constant work in pushing. I created a character of my own, Keanu Believes. Hey, that's me. To move the token, I recently wrote an article on Medium. Then I gave a link to that, and I gave a link to the Medium. I said, September 1st, we have a worldwide launch party going on in Tampa with Max Sean 100, the cousin of Ice Cube, and recording artist on the Doggy Style Records label. Because of the name Keanu, we have at least a passing tie-in to Matrix 4 and John Wick 4, which are both coming very soon, and our charity cases are what Keanu Reeves himself is apparently passionate about. I would invite you all to peek in and check us out. We're pretty easy to find, and we have our own swap called the Matrix. Thanks for doing this quick read. Now, I don't know what the response is going to be, but I'm going to find out what it is, and if I get shit on, I get shit on, guys. I'm doing it for you. So one of these red things is now gone. We have a Bitcoin talk thread. Uh, the rest of this stuff, you know, we'll work on as we go. Um, we want positivity across all, across all of the platforms. We're looking for positivity, and that's what I'm trying to give you uh, to the best of my ability, and that's what I think that we need. The things that we can control right now, and we can't control million dollar projects. We don't control those. What we do control, however, is how we are perceived out in the real world. And if there's no real perception that they can easily find, like this as an illustration, then we have to do something about it. All right, guys, it's time for my rant today, but I don't really think that I have a rant. I think that my entire video today was a rant. So what I'm going to say is this, the investors that you're looking for, they're out there, they're in every other product. Now, the obstacles that prevent us from getting to those uh, investors are this. First of all, you shouldn't take a loss. So if you're down on Shiba, you shouldn't sell. If you're down on Kishu, you shouldn't sell. Uh, I do know that there are a number of people that have uh, sent me messages on Telegram or on Twitter that have said, hey, I'm going to make a play on something. I will be back and I'll be bringing a bigger bag. I don't know these people, any of them, well enough to say that that's what I believe that they are going to do. But I know that that is what they are telling me that they are going to do. So I have no reason to doubt that that is the case. So when I see that we're trading at 1040 and then I look across the board and I see that every other coin except Shiba, who's up 25%, is doing the same thing and they're all down and they're all idling, then here's what I know. If you are a savvy investor, then you understand the four phases 
to get to the altcoin season. The first one is Bitcoin eats first, and it doesn't matter whether you like it or you think that it isn't true. It is true, and it does matter. That is how this works. Then you get to part two, which is Ethereum. And when that happens, Ethereum starts to move. And then we start saying things like, oh, here comes the flippening. Ethereum is going to moon. And you know what? It's more real now than it was at any point before because for at least two hours, it was deflationary. So that's a first. And it probably won't be the last time. So the amount of expansion on Ethereum is also going to go down. So it's going to be something to see and a sight to behold. But that would lead us then to phase three, which is altcoin season. And that's when all of the altcoins from one to 50, maybe even down to 100, start to actually moon. And when I say actually moon, I mean they are going to have rocket-like increases, but not just that rocket-like increase in one or two or three, like Axie Infinity right now, or XRP starting last night. It's going to be sustained, and you're going to start to see some movement. Now, a lot of people that are in Keanu are also people who want money. Everybody in this industry is looking for some life-changing money and a way to get a path forward to financial independence. And one of the ways that people do that is by playing this market the right way. In phase one, you're playing Bitcoin. In phase two, you're going to play Ethereum. In phase three, you're going to play the altcoins. And then in phase four, if you've done this right, you've got so much money that you are tossing money at meme coins waiting for the next one to moon or mooning these coins. There's no doubt at some point soon we are going to get sent. The question becomes how sent can we get and how can we prepare for it the best so that when it all goes down and when it all happens, it happens better for us than anybody else. That's the question because the market is the market is the market. Meme coins are here to stay. And the money is definitely coming back. But everybody's got to do their part. Otherwise, at the end of the day, all we are is just another coin. So if you want the coin to be special, then we have to act special. We have to do little things to make sure that people know who we are. We have to do little things so that people know where we are. And we have to do little things to make sure people continue to stay inspired and they see the progress. That's going to be very tough at the moment. At the beginning of September, things are going to dramatically change. But we're going to have to make the days up to then matter. So I'm going to do what I can do to make sure that you guys are fed. If you do the same, I sure would appreciate it. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, reach me on Telegram. Leave a comment down below. I'd like for you to like, uh, subscribe. If you have the time, uh, watch me a couple times today. Um, I am excited, by the way, to watch myself at 0.25 speed, to hear myself absolutely drunk again. That was hilarious yesterday. So I'm going to do those things, and let's have a good day. That's my time. I've been around since the 80s and wasn't always cool, especially with the ladies. I was a damn fool. Dad was an alcoholic. Mama, she had to leave him. Grew up around the fighting, the fussing, cussing, and cheating. That's when I started breaking all of the rules. Selling drugs and robbing people. I was kicked out of school. I was a bad kid, bad kid. Tearing shit up. Sleeping on couches with 40 bottles and cigarettes.